rhubarb is the epitome of spring to me. I love the color, I love the taste, I love rhubarb pie, I love rhubarb jam, I love rhubarb in pretty much everything, and I can't have it all year round, and so when it does come into the store, I snatch it up just as soon as I can. Um, one of my favorite things to make with rhubarb is rhubarb compote, um, which is just simply rhubarb and a little bit of lemon juice and sh some sugar, and I cook it down, and I use it as a sauce for ice cream, I use it as jam, I use it just, pretty much I just eat it with a spoon. Um, if you've never seen rhubarb or, or used it, this is what it looks like um, without its leaves and everything. It almost looks like a stalk of celery, but it's pink. Um, it's a member of the sorrel family, so it's related to that sort of lemony, peppery, sour, sour sort of flavor that sorrel has also. Um, I've read that in Turkey they eat rhubarb raw, sliced thinly with a little bit of salt, but in the U.S. in general we tend to put it in pies and add a lot of sugar to it, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to slice up the stock um, so I can start making my cocktail. And I just want to cut it into, it doesn't have to be perfect pieces because these are going to be cooked anyway, but I just want it to kind of be in fairly uniform sizes. Alright, and I'm going to have about, I have some more cut up right here. I want to put about two, a little, this is a little more than two cups, but this is not a totally exact science. I'm going to put, put about two cups of cut up rhubarb into a saucepan. I'm going to add a quarter, not a quarter, almost an entire cup of sugar, from three quarters to one cup of sugar, kind of depending on how sweet you like things. And I have a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm just going to bring this over to the stove and cook it down until it's nice and tender and mushy and it's going to start to um, release some of the pectin inside of the rhubarb and it'll get thick almost like a jam. The rhubarb's been on the stove for about 20 minutes. What I did is brought it up to a boil, and as soon as it was up to, as it was up to a nice big boil, I reduced it to a simmer, and I just let it go for about 20 minutes. It's reduced down now. The rhubarb pieces have broken down, and it's a nice, thicker consistency. So I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to pour it into this bowl so you can see it. It's a beautiful color, and you can see a lot of juice in it right now. Um, when you let it cool, it'll actually thicken up quite a bit, and it'll be almost like a jam. And that's how you can use it. You can either use it cool like that or use it warm as a topping for ice cream, maybe even for cake. Um, it's got a nice, bright, fresh, tart flavor of spring, and um, I love to use it, and I think you will too.